It had a brain the size of a walnut, but a tail built like a medieval weapon, towering plates, lethal spikes, and a walk like no other. This was Stegosaurus, one of the most iconic herbivores of the Jurassic world. But how did it live? What were those plates for? And could it really defend itself against apex predators? Welcome to Prehistoric Fact Files. Today, we're heading back over 150 million years to meet the bizarre and unforgettable Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus belongs to a group of dinosaurs called the Thyreophorans, armoured dinosaurs that also included the likes of Ankylosaurus. But unlike its heavily plated cousin, Stegosaurus was relatively exposed, aside from its towering plates and its now infamous spiked tail. The name Stegosaurus actually means roofed lizard due to its plates on its back. It lived 155 to 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic period in what is now North America, specifically Colorado, Wyoming and Utah. Its length was around 9 meters or 30 feet, its height was roughly 4 meters or 13 feet and its weight was roughly 5 tons. Its diet consisted of plant matter making it a herbivore and its lifespan is relatively unknown but estimated to be within the region of 25 to 30 years. Stegosaurus was first discovered in 1877 in the wild badlands of Colorado, USA. The fossils were described by famed paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh who gave the animal its name, Stegosaurus the roofed lizard because he thought the plates lay flat along its back like the shingles on a house. This was during the height of the infamous Bone Wars, a bitter rivalry between Marsh and his former friend turned scientific enemy Edward Drinker Cope. The two men raced to name and publish as many new dinosaurs as possible, often at the expense of accuracy or caution. Early reconstructions of Stegosaurus were strange. At one point, the plates were shown standing upright in pairs and then flat along the back and even incorrectly placed on the tail. Its posture was imagined like a lizard, its tail dragging along the ground, and its brain size was mocked by skeptics for decades. But over time, as more fossils were uncovered, a clearer picture emerged. Today, we know Stegosaurus as one of the most unique herbivores of the late Jurassic. It took over a century to get it right, but Stegosaurus remains one of the most iconic dinosaurs ever discovered. One of the most well-known facts about Stegosaurus? Its brain was tiny, about the size of a walnut, maybe 70 grams, despite the animal weighing over 5 tons. To put that into perspective, a modern house cat has a brain several times larger in a body that weighs 1% as much. In fact, part of Stegosaurus's spinal canal was wider than its actual brain cavity. That's led to all kinds of myths over the years, including the old idea that it had a second brain in its hips, which we now know isn't true. But here's the thing, it didn't need more brain power. Stegosaurus wasn't coordinating pack hunts or solving problems, its life was simple, eat, survive, reproduce. Instead of brains, it relied on brute force, and when you've got a tail tipped with four massive spikes, that might be all the intelligence you need. Speaking of the tail, it's called a thagomizer, a set of four sharp spikes mounted on the end of a flexible tail. Each spike could be over 90 centimeters long. That's nearly the length of a modern baseball bat made of bone. Unlike a club tail like Ankylosaurus had, the thagomizer was a precision-based weapon. Stegosaurus could swing it side to side with incredible momentum, fast enough to cause serious damage. And this isn't just a theory. Paleontologists have found fossilized Allosaurus vertebrae, a backbone, with a deep puncture wound. The spacing, shape and size of the injury is a near perfect match with Stegosaurus's tail spikes. That means that at least one predator learned the hard way not to attack this creature from behind. What's more, Stegosaurus's hips were incredibly robust. This suggests that the tail wasn't just for show, it was a fully mobile, muscular weapon able to twist and snap in a wide arc. So yes, this slow, plant-munching herbivore might have looked harmless, but turn your back and it could become one of the deadliest backsides in the Jurassic world. Now then, what about those iconic plates lining Stegosaurus's back? They weren't armour, at least not in the traditional sense. They were far too thin, fragile, and full of blood vessels to withstand the predator's bite. So, what were they for? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Stegosaurus belongs to an armoured group of dinosaurs, and it is considered an armoured dinosaur. However, as I just mentioned, those plates aren't actually considered armour. Some scientists believe that they were used instead for display. The plates might have flushed red with blood when the animal was excited or threatened, like a built-in warning flag, flashy enough to intimidate predators or maybe even attract a mate. Another theory suggests thermoregulation. With that network of blood vessels, the plates might have worked like solar panels, absorbing heat when the animal was cold or radiating it off in the shade. 
a walking, grazing, temperature control system that the animal could flush blood into and out of the plates to control temperature. And then there's the idea of species recognition. In a world full of herbivores, big tails and horns, maybe these dramatic plates were Stegosaurus's way of saying, I'm me, I'm not lunch, and I'm definitely not a rival. The truth is, we still don't know. It might be ages before we actually know any of these things. It could be all of them or none of them. But one thing's for certain, those plates gave Stegosaurus a silhouette unlike anything else in the Jurassic world. In nature, looking dangerous is often half the battle. In the end, Stegosaurus wasn't fast, it wasn't especially bright, and in a world full of toothy predators, it wasn't even the most heavily armoured. But it didn't need to be, because no other dinosaur looked or fought quite like it. With its towering backplates and that iconic Thagomizer tail, Stegosaurus carved out a place in history, not with strength, but with sheer, unforgettable design. Next time on Prehistoric Fact Files, we follow the rivers of ancient North Africa to meet a towering predator with a sail on its back, crocodile-like jaws, and a lifestyle unlike any other theropod, Spinosaurus. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to unearth more ancient secrets one creature at a time. Also be sure to leave a comment letting us know what prehistoric creature you want us to cover next. Until then, stay curious.